Today I'm going to show you how to get your canoe paddle ready for canoeing season. Let's go! Canoe paddles get pretty beat up uh, through our trips in the summer. Um, you know, wedged in between rocks, kind of dragged around a little bit. But the idea is to protect the wood from water. So every season, depending on how much you use your canoe paddles, um, you know, every season I just do one uh, quick sand down and one coat, possibly two if I need more of a spar urethane or spar uh, varnish. This time I'm using a spar urethane, but uh, yeah, as you can see, these paddles I picked up from an outfitter. Um, they were uh, rental paddles. I don't know how many seasons they had them, but they are in fairly good shape. I was impressed with how well they were. Obviously, you can pick up that stuff cheaper, but I just grabbed my rigid uh, disc, disc sander <laughs> and uh, some 220 grit and the uh, spar varnish and the paintbrush. So I'm just gonna sand it down here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Get everything roughed up. You can use a rougher sandpaper if you have deeper gouges. Key is to give something for the urethane to adhere to. So you have to sand, you can't just throw that on top or it's gonna come off right away. So here I'm working on the shaft here on that worn out spot. Hand on the handle, it was hard to uh, get this on camera because I'm shooting in back robe. But you get the idea, you wanna get everything, all surfaces roughed up that you're gonna cover. Many different techniques that you can use. I'm just working the shaft again and then popping open the urethane. This is a spar urethane. It's got UV protection as well as um, water protection. You want to do this outdoors because this stuff is very potent. Well ventilated area. Just read the directions on stuff that you're going to use. This is all I could find here in town, so I'm just taking the excess off the stir stick there. Yeah, just make sure you read the directions on the back of the urethane so that uh, you uh, use their stuff properly. And it's really dry out. The humidity level is pretty low today, so this stuff was really dry to the touch within minutes it was dry to the touch where I could handle it and not get my fingers really sticky so and it coats out really thin you don't need a lot of it that whole container would probably last me six seven years maybe even longer but here I'm getting a little sloppy with the big brush you can use a little smaller brush but it really stretches out I hardly used any urethane at all for all the paddles that I did I'm doing multiple paddles so I got everything sanded down first and uh, I'm just working the blades here, applying a thin coat. And uh, just check the back because you can apply uh, this stuff. I can put on a second coat in four hours and you want to do it while the urethane is still sticky so it has something to adhere to, otherwise you have to sand again. So I'm just stacking these in the uh, woodshed here to dry out and uh, yeah all done pretty simple took me maybe 10 minutes to sand everything and urethane it and just let them dry I hope you have uh, some good trips this summer and uh, please subscribe and like the videos talk to you later